Carol, I just got off the phone with a U.S. Navy official who says their reports are now that several shots were fired. Several people inside the building have been injured. At this point, it doesn't look like they've been able to evacuate any of the injured out of the building. Uh, he tells me that they are getting actually phone reports at the U.S. Navy from people trapped inside while this situation goes on. They do say they have what they call an active shooter inside the building uh, and that security forces at this hour are entering the building to try to get to this person. Uh, let me just explain to people the location that we're talking about. Uh, in Washington, along the Potomac River in the southwest section of the city of the nation's capital, there is the Washington Navy Yard, a very old historic place, but a highly secure facility. This is a building called the Naval Sea Systems Command. Several hundred people work inside. Uh, they are in charge of all the programs for building ships and submarines. Classified work, highly secure. Not at all clear at this hour how anyone with a weapon could have gotten inside there. Uh, at this point, the best information the Navy says they are getting uh, is from people trapped inside the building. They are telling people to shelter in place. They're trying to evacuate people where they can. But right now, this appears to be a situation involving still at this hour an active shooter. Carol? Well, it's a very early hour in the morning, Barbara. How many people do you think are in that building right now? Well, uh, this is Washington, and the bureaucracy, especially the U.S. military, starts work very early. The reports were that three shots were fired at 8.20 this morning, East Coast time, here in Washington. At that hour, I, I would say that almost everyone was in the building. Now, I know you mentioned a moment ago a news report, the fourth floor. We're going to try and get more information about what exactly is located on the fourth floor in that building, whether this is someone, you know, we just don't know. Is this someone moving through the building? Is this someone looking for a particular spot or office in the building? Uh, and how, once again, how on earth did they get some uh, totally unauthorized weapon inside the building? There are regular security forces in the building uh, that, as there are in so many Washington, D.C. buildings and across the U.S. military. But this situation is very much described. Active shooter, more than three shots fired, several people injured. Uh, the belief at this point is those injured are getting first aid care from other co-workers inside the building Ugh. that they're going to try and get people out, uh, but they got to figure out exactly where the shooter is, isolate him, get him taken care of, and see if they were told they have to safely evacuate people, of course. They can't tell people just to start running. You know, these situations are very, very difficult. They've got to make sure if people are going to start evacuating out, out of the building that okay, they are so, as safe as they can make them be. So just, just a couple of questions. Um, one, it's, this is an active Navy facility. So would people in the building be armed besides the security at the door? And number two, would there be metal detectors as you go into that building? I think it is almost entirely unlikely that anyone would have a weapon other than authorized security personnel. Uh, here in Washington, um, you know, the military does not carry weapons. It, it is authorized security personnel, just like here at the Pentagon, on Capitol Hill, at the White House, at installations across the nation's capital. Very, very strict rules about all of this. Uh, metal detectors. Um, I don't know in this, I'm going to say, I don't know in this particular building. Almost all installations, almost all government buildings that myself and I think most reporters go in and out of do have metal detectors. But the Washington Navy Yard also has a secure perimeter to enter the Washington Navy Yard. It is generally not open to the public. Uh, there's a museum in, the, in that area. There's a lot of things for people to go and see and enjoy, but they, they have to pass through uh, a guard checkpoint, essentially, to get onto the Washington Navy Yard, and especially to go into this building. You can't just drive there, park your car, get out, and wander around. 